What comes to your mind when you think of Taiwan? A delicious bubble tea, potential war, or maybe its big neighbor, China? This Saturday, 23 million Taiwanese people will shape their future. They are picking their next president. This isn't just any election. It's a big deal for 2024, with major implications for tech, regional security, and global diplomacy. Now, buckle up as I walk you through the five top crucial facts you should know. In Taiwan, the influence of women is impossible to overlook. A trend has emerged where women often have higher voting rates than men, almost becoming a tradition. Remember, in 2016, Taiwan made history by electing its first female president, Tsai Ing-wen. This year, the buzz around women's political empowerment is reaching new heights. A Netflix show is hot on politicians. Who knew streaming could stir up such a storm? A number of male politicians have found themselves under the microscope, facing investigations for sexual harassment. A presidential candidate had to step up, offering not just one, but three apologies in a day. In Taiwan, voting isn't mandated. But when Tsai Ing-wen first clinched her victory, ladies led the charge. Female voters turn out in such force, they beat male voters by a notable 2.4%. But there's a twist this year. No female candidates in the running. Taiwan's all-female party also failed to join the game. Politicians are pulling out old stops to charm the younger crowd, doing everything they can to make sure these young voters show up and cut their ballots. It still affects the younger generation who have been voting for gender equality, but the impact is no longer as widespread as when it started. The new battleground? Social media. A fierce political battle is playing out on screens this election season. In the last two presidential elections, winning over the younger generation was the key to victory. Just like their global peers, many young Taiwanese are living their digital lives on social media. And politicians have done their homework. They're teaming up with major influencers, staging concerts, and even crafting chocolates, all to create sensation on social media. It's a full-on charm offensive to win hearts and votes online. As cat and dog politicians grab headlines, TikTok is also filling a more serious aspect of Taiwan's politics. The disinformation war. Uh, they pretend to be local communities, local groups on social media. For example, there will be a group talking about hiking, a movie, food. However, they will turn to a political mode, propaganda mode at some point. And why does it happen? It is all about the ever-present geopolitical rivalries around the island. This is far from a well-kept secret. In fact, the intricate dynamics between Taiwan, its giant neighbor China, and its key political island the United States are more than just regional chatter. They could significantly sway the stability and security of our entire region. China stands for money stance that Taiwan is an independent country, frequently flying jets crossing the median line of the street. On the other hand, the United States backs Taiwan's democracy and sells weapons to the island. This dynamic adds a layer of growing tension to the region. While no one sees the media war declaration from China to claim the island, all involved parties remain vigilant. Taiwan's domestic politics operate under the looming shadow of these complex trilateral relations. If you look at Taiwan's political spectrum, we have the Green Camp, represented by the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP. They are seen as pro-Washington and pro-independence. On the other side, there's a blue camp, the main opposition Guomindang, KMT. They support the One China policy and are viewed favorably by Beijing. As threats of conflict loom, Taiwan's political history is witnessing a first. Three vice presidential candidates were reportedly once American citizens or green card holders. These unique scenarios underscores the complex international influences in Taiwan. Adding a fresh twist to the plot, a new party has joined the competition for the first time in Taiwan's history, making this election even more interesting. 
This new player brings an actual layer of excitement yet uncertainty to the race. This fresh competitor is dressed in teal, just like candidates from Australia's last federal election. In Taiwan, it's called Tiffany Blue. They are known as Taiwan's People's Party (TPP). Its emergence mirrors a global trend of new political forces shaking up traditional party lines. It aims for a political middle ground, claims to offer a third way beyond the traditional party politics that many have grown weary of. Young voters see it as a big of hope, but skeptics. Has a suspicious eye on his accountability. I think it's not unique uh, in the global context because we have already seen a lot of typical uh, uh, populist politicians like Donald Trump, like Boris Johnson. People will be very happy when when Cohen uh, criticizes the government because he's very good at uh, pointing out the question. But there's no alternative. It has ruffled feathers among the years, yet some remain optimistic about him bringing change. So the pressing question is, what do Taiwanese people want? Amidst inflation and economic downturns, Taiwan faces similar challenges. Young people are sounding the alarm on housing affordability. Well, women are increasingly vocal about childcare and aged care issues. Taiwanese people are very practical. It means they care about whether they can have the economic support they need in life. Low wages are causing Taiwan's younger workforce to struggle, making it tough for many to start a family on the island. Most of people are disappointed about the economic environment, although uh, we see a. Uh, uh, the record number of the growing GDP. It is a rising inequality, inequality that makes people dissatisfied. Each political party has proposed solutions. It all seems to be relying on the same approach, splashing the cash. As the debate heats up, the public is turning a critical eye towards the presidential candidates, questioning their involvement in violating construction regulations or flipping properties. But who is really winning over the voters? We'll have the answers soon enough.